Well, finally tonight, as we mentioned earlier, today is the feast of St. Clair of Assisi, a special day for the Franciscan Order, and a new movie is highlighting the work of a Franciscan nun in Honduras. With this light in select theaters starting today tells the story of Sister Maria Rosa Lago, who helped more than 87,000 children in Honduras escape poverty and violence. She did so through a network of social and educational projects. Sister Maria died back in 2020 at the age of 93, but her spirit lives on. And we go now to Jessica Sorowitz, executive producer of With This Light. Jessica, thanks so much for joining us. Great to see you again. Um, tell us a little bit more about Sister Maria and what your connection is to her and what inspired you to tell her story. Yes, hello everyone, and thank you for having me today. Um, the thing that inspired me uh, to tell Sister Maria Rosa Legault's story is, um, you know, she had so much spiritual um, energy, impact, and there were so many people, because uh, I had a relationship with her for over seven years, and she had so many people that would come up and they would feel compelled to give testimony to their story in terms of sister did this, sister did that. Do you know about the great plane when she stopped the plane from taking off? Do you know when she rescued a child? Do you know that she's a great, um, you know, found funder, founder of uh, rural health clinics in the country? Um, and also she has an honorary degree from Marquette University in the U.S., another university. St. Xavier in Canada. So, I mean, there were so many incredible stories um, that revolved around Sister that um, it was just fascinating to hear. And I thought, um, who is this woman? Why don't we know more about her? Um, and she did all this work um, over 70 years, uh, living a life of service to uh, the most vulnerable, the most marginalized in Honduras. And um, and also I thought to myself, you know, she did this when uh, Honduras was undergoing a lot of transition, a lot of change from military junta in those seven years to this transition to democracy. There were some wars. There was, um, you know, that period of the Contras, um, what was happening next door in Nicaragua with the Sandinistas, and so much happening. And even today um, in Honduras, where there's, um, you know, a lot of environmental impacts and um, also, you know, some of the pandemic and youth um, having a lot of issues right now, I said, you know what, I think that this is, there's a story here. And I think that a lot of people would resonate with with her story so that that was really why it was important to tell sister's story yeah and and it is such an incredible story and, and i remember you and i talked last year uh, when you showed the documentary at the vatican but now of course more people will be able to see it how important do you think that is i mean that this movie will now be available to a wider audience and what do you hope people take away from it well you know what? I think it's very important that people see it because um, it's such it's so inspiring. I have I have we have taken my film team have taken Sister Story to diverse communities. So, um, you know, Hispanic communities um, in Honduras that had such a beautiful theatrical run. People loved it um, in the U.S. We've taken it to we've done several film festivals, um, African-American communities. Um, festival in, in the Midwest, um, down South, and we've even had a, a, a special screening at the Museum of Tolerance. And in every single community, people are so moved. And I think it's because the movie really um, is so richly layered. It's like a tapestry. And it's almost like you're experiencing an encounter in terms of, you know, from your past, from where whatever you're seeking, there's something there for, for each person. And um, 
I think that the afterwards people say to me, you know, I was really uplifted. And, you know, in some cases I cried, you know, I cried, but it was a good cry. And then I feel um, a sense of relief. And then now I feel energized. And I also feel hopeful. Um, it's resonating with the young people, especially. We even have a music video because we have a signature song from an artist, Carla Morrison, and she's a Latin Grammy Award winning artist. We have a really, you know, beautifully sung um, signature song by Carla. The young people are engaging on TikTok, Instagram with it. Um, because you know what? I think that you have to um, be able to go to different communities and showcase this film. And you have to go where people, you know, um, feel that you're serving them. And if it's a music video, then fine, let's do that too. And the film, fine, let's do that too, because that's part of our mission, is to go out there and um, bring the good word, bring the good news of, you know, the radical Jesus. So it's, it's really resonating. That is amazing. We have about 30 seconds left or so, Jessica, uh, but I know people want to see this movie. Uh, how can they do so? Yes. Yeah, so um, for more information, you can go to www.withthislight.com. And uh, we are playing in select theaters across the U.S. starting August 11th today. And then it'll be on video on demand on various digital platforms um, starting August 15th. Now, Jessica, this is also very exciting. Uh, congratulations and God bless you and God bless your work. Thanks so much for coming on. Thank you so much.